So in today's video, we're going to vibe code a sentiment analysis script for Google Sheets that will process either a single cell or analyze an entire column of data and give you a overall score. Now we're not going to use chat GPT to actually process the text because maybe your text is sensitive data you don't want in a LLM model, or maybe you don't want to pay for the data usage, especially if you're doing this a lot. And so today we're going to use some libraries that I've pulled in to the script. And so if you go down to the description below, you can make a copy of the Google Sheet that will include these libraries for you. And so let's go ahead and start up here. So I'm going to give ChatGPT a prompt to get us started. And let's see what it comes back with. So one thing, I'll probably stop it here because I have some things I want to use here. So let me go ahead and include that. So and then let's let it finish up. All right, so it gave us a script here. So paste the whole file. So let's copy this in and then we'll see what adjustments we want to make. And so go ahead and start saving this. I'm going to scroll down and see what we have here. So how to use, which is great. There's our summary. It gives us some different things here. If we scroll up, it has some tensifiers and negators, which is good. Some motion keys. I think that's from what's going to match to our NRC here. So let's go ahead and check this out and we'll see what we come back with. So it looks like a rate program is custom function with our at custom function. And so this should pop up as we type in. So sentiment, and there we go. There's one we just created. And then you can just put in a cell. And then here is our result. So score, label, and confidence. And so we did percentage, so this would be 88%. So we could have it come back and turn this into a decimal, so 0.88, and then we could turn it into a percentage if you wanna see it. Or you could just leave it as a number and just know that that is out of 100. So let's go ahead and drag this down a little bit and see what we get back. I think this one's blank. So let's go ahead and put this down here as well. And then down here. And see what it comes back with. All right, so we're coming up with somewhat mixed. Looks like this one. I think it's this hesitant is probably triggering that. And so the but I don't think is probably working as much. So let's just put this in here. Uh, let me just do this. And we'll see what happens there as we go forwards, neutral and mixed. So some slight negative, so maybe we'll put that in there as well. Um, and then here we have this one as a slight negative. And so this one I would probably put as a slight positive, and so we'll put that in there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and put this in there as well. Then we'll see what comes back there. This one probably as well, but so these are all negative. This one's probably more than or less than a negative 0.62. But while we're waiting on that to refine, let's go ahead and check this one out. So sentiment, and this will be summary. 
and then we can just select our data there and see what that comes back with. So there's a 0.87. So let's just, out of curiosity, check what the average is here. So I'm going to select this and it's like an average of 1.1. .1. So when we come over here, we get slightly less. And so it's not a straight average of what we have here. And this is probably closer to a better weighting. There's a confidence level though, 62%. So just giving us a slight positive overall score. Okay, so. It's giving us several different things here. So when it does the drop in patches, sometimes these are easy to do, sometimes they're more complicated. So we'll see what this looks like if we're having trouble or if you're not familiar with coding, then you could just say, can you please give me the full updated code? So let's go ahead and do this. So add these helpers anywhere below your helpers. So typically those are be at the bottom. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom and paste those down there. And then number two, tweak analyze text. So that means what I'm going to do here is copy this text and then search. And then what I'm basically going to look for is a function. And so this isn't it. This is just calling it here. And so there's four and five. So let's go up. So there's our function analyze text. Okay. So change its signature, except a third pattern with default. Uh, so just where we're adding there is that skip this course. Right after you compute tokens. So it's giving us a fun bit before per token loop. So there's tokens. And there's our token loop. Okay, so somewhere between here and here. We'll insert this one. Right before you compute the base clip, we're missing a what is happening here? Chat GPT or screw me over a little here. That should be pretty obvious there. Okay. Let's we'll start from base score. So we're going to have a return here. Compute clipped. I think it's after this. Okay, there's clipped. So copy this. So final score. So here's clipped. And then here's our return. Do we have anything? Final score, final motions. Discourse. I'm trying to figure out if this is. Oh, after clipped emotions and confidence. So there's confidence. So I think it's saying after this label, do I have label? I don't think so. So let's do that. And our return is right there. And let's see if it saves without how emotions are declared 263. Oh, there's top emotions and label. So after confidence, okay, so include everything else. That should be it. Let's see if it told me anything else. All right, let's see what that changes here. So let's scroll back, see what that was. So we had, I was hesitant at first. And so it boosted that 1.9 to 2.31. So it's definitely a little better. And then I like the product. Well, the price could be a little lower. Still negative. So some of this is probably because we need the phrase and the contrast markers. So. And so one thing, because the code can get really long and they can get 
kind of goofy. So when you have these kind of standalone pieces, um, which, where is that? Maybe it's the bottom. Here's the phrase lexicon. So when we have a standalone piece like this, we can just basically make that much more resilient. And so then we could do the same thing. We could increase the contrast markers, uh, probably the hedges and the modals. And so that'd be a quick and easy way to make this basically smarter because we have our actual words here, right? And then this is kind of making it more like an LLM of being able to process actual text. All right, so one thing to note as well. And so I basically told it somewhere that this was a review. So this is saying common review language. So if you're doing social media, probably say expand the phrase lexicon for social media context. So giving the context of what you're doing is going to definitely help on these lexicons. So let's paste that in. That was quite a chunky bit there. And then let's go down. And then we can do the hedges and the modals, and that should make this a lot more resilient. And then as you go forward, you could look at maybe updating or changing these libraries if you want to use different sentiment analysis libraries. And so this is just what I put together on a quick search on what it would look like it would work well. But there are some ones, but there are some of those libraries that are more tailored to things like social media or reviews. So you may be able to find something that will work better for your use case. All right, so I've got those updated. Now one thing, you gotta pay attention to this because this screws me up at times when I'm vibe coding is if it's the entire code or not. So this is a patch, so this is not the whole thing. So it replaces contrast markers, which I was expecting, but also discourse adjust. So I'm gonna have to do that as well. So let's find that real quick. So discourse, I don't know if I can type here, discourse adjust. So there's that one. So it's replacing this whole thing. Let's make sure. Yeah, there's that discourse adjust. So let's replace. Uh, I'm going to just delete that for now. And then there's our contrast markers. I'm just going to move this whole thing to the bottom. So let me copy this. I think maybe I already did, but we'll place that down there. Hedge has been already declared. It included hedges and modals. Okay, so we have the ones we just added here. I think it's the same ones that we just had. Yeah. Let's delete those. Maybe we'll finish up by expanding these. So, and then we'll do a little bit of testing to see what this looks like and how it changes on the front end. All right, so there we go. So we've got new hedges and new modals. And let's paste this in. It looks like it maybe changed a little logic here. Inside discourse adjust. Let's look up that. Update the logic like so. Uh, so I'm looking for hedges. There we go. Hedges test. So let's see if there's a softener. Not seeing a softener. So I think hedges and modals. There's hedges and modals. Okay. So I think this should replace this one. See if it saves without any errors. All right. So that should do it. Let's go ahead and check out and see how it adjusted. So let's that back in there. 3.78. Let's drag this down. So let's take a look at one. Oh, it made that one bigger. So it's already adjusting the results there. 
So that's 0.12. So it definitely looks like it's getting this one just a little more towards zero. It's still still putting this as slightly negative, which is interesting. And so this one's still right around neutral, um, which is again, this was the neutral mixed. And negative, we got those and so forth. So let's see what happened with the overall. So the overall gave us a 0.77. Let's check real quick what the average here was. So 0.96. So when it did the overall sentiment analysis, it bumped it down just a little bit. All right, and so that's it for today's video on building a sentiment analysis script in Google Sheets. Now keep in mind, you can adjust this as well and use ChatGPT to help you adjust whether you're dealing with reviews or emails or whatever it is your content is. You can customize it so that way you can get the best results for your data set. So check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.